Frogs and Scientists by Frank Herbert Two frogs were counting the minnows in a hydroponics trough one morning when a young maiden came down to the water to bathe. What's that? One frog, who was called Lavu, asked the other. That's a human female, said Lapat, for that was the other frog's name. What is she doing? Lavu asked. She is taking off her garments, said Lapat. What are garments? An extra skin you must wear to conceal themselves from the gaze of strangers, said Lapat. Then why is she taking off her extra skin? asked Lavu. She wants to bathe her primary skin. See how she piles her garments beside the trough and steps daintily into the water. She is oddly shaped, said Lavu. Not for a human female. All of them are shaped that way. What are those two bumps on her front? asked Lavu. I have often pondered that question, Lapat said. As we both know, function follows form and vice versa. I have seen human males clasp their females in a crushing embrace. It is my observation that the two bumps are a protective cushion. Have you noticed, asked Lavu, that there is a young human male watching her from the concealment of the control station? That is a common occurrence, Lapat said. I have seen it many times. But, can you explain it? Oh, yes. The maiden seeks a mate. That is the real reason she comes here to display her primary skin. The male is a possible bait, but he watches from concealment because, if he were to show himself, she would have to scream, and that would prevent mating. How is it you know so many things about humans? asked Lavu. Because I pattern my life after the most admirable of all humans, the scientist. What's a scientist? Lavu asked. A scientist is one who observes without interfering. By observation alone, all things are made clear to the scientist. Come, let us continue counting the minnows.